Hey everybody, today I want to walk you through how to integrate ConvertKit and um, ClickFunnels. If you have not started um, an email list, I highly suggest ConvertKit as the place to start in your online business journey. Um, and I, So I will leave a link for your ConvertKit trial as well as ClickFunnels free 14-day trial in the description below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump right in. So ConvertKit, it's important to know that ConvertKit um, integrates with ClickFunnels via Forms. So we're going to start and we're going to create a form. Uh, we're going to create a form in our ConvertKit account. Go ahead and click that button on the top right there. Create form. Um, it has to be form, not landing page. It doesn't matter which of these you do. Just go ahead and choose one. And then you'll see your form is made. I'm going to go up here and change the name of it just so we know for sure. Um, ClickFunnels test form one, just so there's no doubt at all. Save it in the top right there, and then I know it's in there for sure, for sure, for good. Next step, see over here on the right, there's a little power button. You can kind of see it light up and, and whatnot. I wish you could see my mouse, but you can't, so uh, you can kind of see it light up on the right side and the blue bar in the far right. You click on that and then click on account settings, and we need one more piece, go ahead and underneath company name, there is your API key. You will need that from your ConvertKit account. Go ahead and copy. I just did Command C on my Mac. And then we're going to head over to ClickFunnels. <clears throat> and we get to this integration page by going up here on the top right to the account. And then down to integrations, second from the top there. You will arrive on this page where we are going to click Add New Integration. Um, your nickname can be whatever you want it to be. It can be CK. It can be CK followed by your initials. Um, maybe if you have a business and a personal one. However you want to nickname it. This has no connection to its performance whatsoever. And then on the service, we're going to click Convert Kit API. And then on the API key, we're go going to go ahead and paste that long API key that we copied from um, Convert Kit itself. And then create integration. And there you have it, it's ready to go. And then our only last step is to go to whatever funnel step that we actually want to send to that form. For now, I'm just gonna choose a webinar form that I just made. Um, and this webinar, yeah. So it's, it's a webinar I just made. If you're interested, I'll leave the link for this webinar um, in the description as well. You're welcome to sign up, it's just an auto webinar. Um, but back to ConvertKit, then on settings up here, go ahead and just smash integrations. And on your integrations, click the one that makes sense. Integration subscribe to form, that's the action. Then the list, you can, um, that's an old one. Refresh the list, and you'll see CF test form one is right there. It's all connected, ready to go. As soon as somebody puts in their information, um, with this pop-up, they will get sent to ConvertKit. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will help you out as best as possible. And if you'd like to get signed up for ConvertKit or a free trial for ClickFunnels, or you want to sign up for this webinar that you just saw um, that isn't really related to anything that we did in the rest of this video, I will leave all the links to all of those resources in the description below. Um, and if you found this helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep getting more helpful content straight to your inbox. Like this video, leave a comment, tell me your thoughts, um, and, ha and until next time, happy marketing, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.